So what an absolutely gorgeous scenery here with all the wild garlic just blooming on maximum right now. Uh, I've been waiting like three or four weeks for this to actually happen. Uh, so it's so nice to see that, yeah, finally the forest is just full of wild garlic. So yeah, and, and I have a lot of different compositions that I want to get through. The first one is here. Simply just have all the wild garlic here and then I have the road leading through the scene. Super simple and easy composition. So right now it is evening and it's a cloudy day and underneath all this leaves here in this beech forest it's very very dark so when I'm shooting at f16 to get everything in focus I actually have an exposure time of 20 seconds so it is really about like deciding your composition and and then working a little bit also have to be very careful that you don't like you know step on all the flowers and all the the wild garlic here it's just destroying the scene you don't want to do that either so it does require a little bit of managing a little bit back and forward but uh, i think this composition is quite nice it's uh, i try to get this bunch of garlic here in front then leading up into the scene and this tipped over trunk it's quite a nice little quaint uh, forest scene so hopefully it turns out So this forest is also known where people can go and collect wild garlic and use it in their cooking. And you can see in this <laughs> little funny message uh, on, on, on this sign that in 1241, yes, about 800 years ago, there was a law made here in Denmark, in this part of Denmark called Jyske Law, where it is said that when you are in nature, you are allowed to collect whatever you can have in your hat. <laughs> I just love something like that. It's absolutely hilarious that we have a law which is almost 800 years old, but still works today. It's still valid, that's how it is. If you don't have a hat, you can use a small bag or something. But yeah, that's history. So I'm really just walking around, reacting to the environment. There are a few spots that I know that I want, but besides that, I'm, I'm just reacting, shooting what I see. So it's a good combination of doing something intentional and just like, you know, go with the flow. Uh, and right now I'm at one of those very intentional ones. You can see here a very nice S-curve on the trail here in front of us. So. I've just zoomed all the way into the scene and even though I'm shooting at f16 I actually have to focus stack this one. I think I can get away with only using two exposures but uh, even so I actually do have to focus stack it.
So I've come to a part of the forest where it's a little bit more open and you see the, the garlic is just, it's like a sea of garlic here. So what I'm mainly focusing on is of course uh, the sea of garlic here in front and then we have uh, the beech trunks here which is just standing down and just zooming in to the sea and have these vertical, al almost straight vertical lines coming out of the sea of garlic. Super simple photo, but uh, I I like it. It's it's something. Uh, even though there's no like leading line into it, it's uh, hard to say why, but I like it. So this is seriously just 360 degrees of wow and you just constantly have to like assess where does the trees overlap, do you have to walk back, do you have to walk forward, how far up and how far down do you want to stay because I don't want to be so far up that it's just like a sea of white. I do want to show that it's a little bit of flower so I also have to kind of like bow down a little bit and then I will have to focus stack and then it also becomes a little bit more obvious where people are walking. There's quite a lot of small trails in the sea and I really don't want to show those, although they are there. Uh, I guess it's when people are out plucking garlic for themselves. I also know that there are some runners uh, using the small trails. So from time to time you do see some garlic that has been pushed over or, or walked on. But uh, yeah, generally most of the forest is just super beautiful and super intact. We're just in those days where the flowers have grown so tall that they stop tipping over. Uh, so I only have like maybe a tops a week more before uh, before everything is just like laying down. And that would be sad. So yeah, I'm just trying to get the most of it now. But it's uh, it's difficult to work with. Forest photography is always difficult, even though you have like a sea of white in front of you. Uh, it's beautiful. Alright, so I think it's about being the last photo for now and it's a very simple little young beech tree in here and again just yeah a sea of wild garlic but uh, it really stands out among these older trees here so just zooming all the way in and catching that one so let's see how that one turns out. As much as I like the photos I caught this evening, I really missed some more foggy and atmospheric conditions, even though I did as much as I could to not depend on it. I returned for a sunrise shoot two days later, but sadly the sunrise was obscured by a cloud and it wasn't before two or three hours later the sun came out. However, when it did, the effect of the strong light was absolutely gorgeous. The flowers caught the light beautifully and I managed to get some high contrast backlit photos of the wild garlic. It's very different from what I've seen this season and a result I'm really happy with.
If you want to learn more about composition and landscape photography, be sure to get my two ebooks or one of them. There are links down in the description to both of them. They cover a huge range of topics about composition. They are 113 pages, 114 pages, and 149 pages. And they are super easy to read. I have designed them to be very easy to read, and they are full of great examples about the different compositional tools I talk about. You can also get the free light versions of both of them. You can get the first one by signing up to my newsletter, and there is a link to the second one also down in the description. So I hope you enjoyed this video from Risco in Aarhus and a sea of wild garlic. How crazy is this? So yeah, definitely a, a very nice uh, spring phenomena here in Denmark. So thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, I would highly appreciate both a like and a comment.